Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. Today we got a little bit of a kind of an unbagging here. Um, I picked up a new product which I'm pretty excited about. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the Nutsack Sling. Now if anybody watched my video that was the February one bag, one pouch, one wallet challenge, um, you would have saw that I carry a Nutsack Satchel 13. Um, I really like the products, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one. We'll see how this one looks. So it came in a big box, um, and inside the box was just the, the bag with it. Um, I've been working quite a bit lately, so I haven't even really had a chance to pull this one out, check it out or anything very much. So we'll kind of go over it together. And I'm kind of thinking maybe in a week or two, I'll do a little bit of an update video kind of talking about, you know, how I set it up or what I have in it, things like that. This is just kind of to show it off. Um, you know, if you haven't seen one before, you can kind of take a look at it. So, yeah, this is the Nutsack Sling. This one is the in the traditional wax canvas. It's also available in a black model that is the 1000D Condora. Or Cordura, however you say that. Um, but I'm really a sucker for this wax canvas. I really like the looks of it. Um, you know, I like the feel. I like how it gets softer as it breaks in. There's a lot of things I like about it. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of take a peek at it. So it's not incredibly huge. Um, it's not a big bag, which is actually something I'm actually pretty excited about. I'm a, I'm a pretty big dude. I'm not really into backpacks. Um, you know, and I don't do a ton of things, you know, if I go out in the woods or hit some trails or something or go fishing and I want to bring some extra things, I hate throwing, you know, four or five little things in a backpack. Um, so I've been kind of in the market for something a little bit smaller, something maybe a little bit bigger than like a, you know, a pocket organizer or something. So this bag I really got interested in. Um, this one I don't know how it portrays on camera, but it's 11 and a half inches long, eight inches wide, and about three and a half inches deep. So it's not a huge bag, um, pretty small. It has a nice little grab handle here that is covered in leather. It has a front pocket. Um, it's, you know, fairly deep. It goes down almost all the way to the end, stops a little bit short. Um, it's all lined in kind of that tan fabric, if you can see that, kind of like the satchel is. Um, zippers are all YKK with leather pull, ta pull tabs. And they have little flaps on them to kind of help cover the zippers a little bit because this material is water resistant. I mean, it's not completely waterproof, but, you know, if you were to get rain on or something like that, um, it'd do a pretty good job of keeping your stuff dry. The internal pocket is actually a four zipper system. So, you know, you can keep the zippers however you want, but you can keep the zippers at the top. And if you are wearing it like a sling bag, you know, you have the ability to just unzip either side, grab something out from the inside and zip it up without having to undo the whole bag. Or you can go ahead and just un unzip the whole bag. Um, and now it doesn't fold completely flat open. So it stops a little bit short. Um, on the inside, we actually have the sling part of it. We'll look at that in just a second. This one on the inside is actually a molly panel. So when I bought my satchel that I carry, um, I can't remember for sure. I don't know if the one that has the molly was available when I purchased it. It might have been. I've had it for about two years. Um, but it wasn't really what I was looking for in the, in the satchel style bag. Uh, but I think in a bag like this, it'll be pretty handy because I'm going to be able to clip, you know, flashlights, knives, pens, you know, whatever I want to carry that day. I can strap in a little bit of an organizer, you know, anything like that. And then we have um, a pocket on this side as well. It looks like we also get a little nutsack sticker. That's pretty cool. I like stickers. Um, yeah, deep pocket on this one goes all the way to the bottom there on the inside. So you can keep something in there. I mean, you can keep an organizer. You can keep, you know, all types of things in there. 
And then obviously you have some storage room on the inside. But like I said, I was in the market for something that's not huge. I'm not even a huge sling type guy. Um, but I like the fact that it's, it's small enough where I can carry it by the handle if I want to. You know, throw it into the passenger seat, bring some stuff out when you go out fishing or out in the woods or something. Go hit some trails or something. You can carry a few things. You don't have to bring a big old backpack. Um, you know, everybody's going to have different preferences. But for me, like, I really like this style. I found out about Nutsack from just watching YouTube videos. Um, <laughs> sounds kind of weird, but yeah, I had some, you know, videos. I always, I don't even have a TV, like, you know, pretty much my entertainment is off of YouTube if I decide to watch stuff. And and uh, I had video playing randomly in the background as I was doing some work. And I heard some guy talking about his nutsack bag. And I was like, what the hell am I watching? And I, I went and checked out the video. Um, fell in love with the, you know, the satchel he was reviewing. And, you know, I watched a bunch of videos, went to the website, checked it out. A um, little bit of sticker shock. I mean, they're not inexpensive bags. So, you know, that's something to kind of keep an eye on. I mean, you know, if you're looking for something really inexpensive, this may not be the best choice for you. But for me, I mean, I like to at least tell myself that I kind of live by the motto, you know, buy once, cry once. So you're going to spend a little bit extra money. But this is an American made bag. Um, you know, the wax canvas comes out of New Jersey. You know, American assembled, you know, so I really like that point. And like I said, I got multiple backpacks, but they're just not really my thing very much. Unless I'm traveling, I keep a bunch of clothes or something in them. But, um, you know, for some, for just going out and doing something for the day, for half a day, something like this is going to fit my needs a lot more. So this one comes in at $189. Like I said, they're not inexpensive. But I think if you take relatively good care of it, treat it decent. It'll probably last you your whole lifetime. Um, you can re-wax it if you need to. Um, I always kind of butcher the name, but it's like Martinex wax, I believe. They've been around forever. Um, that wax company has been around forever, so you can re-wax it if you need to. I've never had to re-wax one. My satchel it's pretty light use. I mean, it goes from the house to the service vehicle to the hotel, maybe a plane ride here and there. But I don't, you know, commute through a busy city or carry it on a bike or anything. So mine still looks, you know, almost like new, very little wear. Now, this one doesn't have the leather on the bottom. It's just the canvas all the way around. Like the satchel I have has the leather bottom. And this one I do plan on um, using a little bit more for... It's going to get a little bit more abused. You know, it's going to be something I bring out in the woods. It's going to get set in the dirt. It might get set in the snow. You know, it might, I might have fish guts on my hands. I'm using it, you know, things like that. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to hold up. Um, you know, I think it's going to hold up really well. I don't have any, any worries at all. The back of it does have some padding. So, I mean, if you do wear it, it is padded a little bit. It's got some little air channels there to kind of keep, help, uh, keep your back a little bit cooler. Um, maybe not build up quite as much sweat and then it's got these rings um, that attach the the satchel part to it and I haven't even opened this up yet I haven't even took a look at it yet um, we'll kind of take a peek so yeah you get a nice padded satchel it's padded it's got a little bit of the perforations in there to help with a little bit of airflow not as much sweat and then it works pretty much like, you know, pretty much like you'd expect. You have the ability to clip it on the left or the right side, depending on, you know, what shoulder you want to use it on. So you can clip it right onto the, to the bag. Um, you know, it's all pretty good hardware. Uh, I feel like they're pretty heavy duty. It's not, you know, like a, a thin piece of hardware. You can get off like a $10 bag off Amazon or something. And then the little hook up here um, just hooks into the top. I think it's called like a G hook, I believe. Um, and just slides right in. So then you have the actual part for wearing it as a sling. Um, you know, I like that they got, you know, they have the, you know, a leather strap holder for it. You know, the little things that they engineer for it, I think is, is pretty handy too. 
I get a feeling like this company just doesn't, you know, come up with an idea overnight and throw it together. I feel like they actually take the time to think things out, um, you know, when they when they create them. So, but yeah, I, I mean, it's the same kind of style, same quality. You know, stitching's really good. I like how they use good quality hardware on it. Um, everything's really well stitched. You know, I don't. I, I've never found any loose threads or any kind of things like that. Um, in the in the previous one I have. I would like to pick up some more things, you know, from them, but I kind of just pick up things as I need them for, you know, through through the company. I've been eyeballing this ever since it came out. I just finally decided to pull the trigger on it. Now that I'm doing, you know, a couple YouTube videos here and there, I thought I needed something to take out when I go, you know, in the woods or go for a drive or something. Maybe I want to carry a couple flashlights or a couple knives or something. And so instead of carrying them all in a big backpack, you know, I thought this would be something good. Um, you know, and I could carry a few things. So, yeah, in the coming weeks, I'll kind of load it up a little bit. We'll go over, you know, what I have in it. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff from Alpaca that I haven't, you know, I haven't made any videos about or anything. So, we may see some new things from Alpaca going in here. Um, we may not. I do, I'm not really sure how I'm going to set it up, but um, you know, the good thing is, is you can change it out every week. That's one reason I like the Mollies because I can clip a knife on, you know, next week if I want to put a different knife on, you know, two seconds, switch them out. So I wanted to make a quick video. You know, I'm not trying to sound like I'm selling you something. Um, I like these nutsack bags enough that even my little baby channel with hardly any subscribers or hardly any you know views i even reached out to nutsack to try to get like a discount code or something um super cool guys i mean i didn't get a i did i didn't get a discount code for you guys they gave me an affiliate link so i'll have that link in the description if you choose to you know purchase something from them if you use my link you know i'll make a few bucks to go towards a future purchase with them um you know but if you don't I'll still, you know, buy things from them at full price. That's no big deal to me. So, I don't think I mentioned it, but it only weighs one pound, seven ounces. So, it's not, you know, extremely heavy. Um, not too bad. It come, nuts, all Nutsack bags have a lifetime guarantee. And you also get a 30-day money-back guarantee with them. But, yeah, that's just kind of a quick view. Um, you know, if you have any questions about it. Feel free to write them in the comments if you have one or any other bags by Nutsack. I'm interested to hear which ones you have. Like I said, I only have this and then the Satchel 13. But I've been kind of eyeing like their admin pouches. Um, sometime I might even pick up that duffel bag. So just kind of trying to use up some of the stuff I have now. And then maybe I'll replace it with something else later on. But um, yeah, I mean everybody kind of has a style of things they like. For me, this kind of style is the one that I prefer. It's my favorite. Um, you know, in the past I've had some, you know, I still do have some like some Maxpedition bags and things like that. They are good quality. They work just fine for what I'm you know, using them for. But I, I just like this style. I'm not so much into like the tactical look. Um, this for me just suits me well. The only disappointment that I have is so when I ordered it, it came with the it comes with the leather patch with the acorn on it. Uh, when I ordered my satchel, it had the ability you had the ability to switch between this icon or this logo, and then the one that was this logo and it said nut sack underneath of it. I didn't see that option in there anymore. I don't know if they're still offering that or not. Um, it is kind of a weird conversation starter, but you know that's kind of. That's how I found about it. You know, how I found out about these bags is they caught my attention when I heard about it. So um, you do still get the logo on the inside, but um, I don't know. That's not a huge deal. I just noticed it was something different. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you later.